My name is Mel, welcome to my world and if you're new to my channel at the moment I'm building a stealthy off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, camper van. As you can see there's my bed behind me. Now today is judgement day. Judgement for what you may ask. Well on Friday I put it to the public vote whether or not to varnish or paint a piece of trim. I'll just spin you around just for those people that didn't see the that video so if you're going back it's this piece of trim here this piece of edging on my work surface now on boats this piece of trim is tra traditionally painted white and I rather like the look of that so that's what I try to replicate I want to try and replicate the interior of a yacht <laughs> who am I trying to kid right <laughs> and, and it's white and now someone said to me the reason they have that white trim in a boat is because if the boat's rocking you need to, you need to reach out to steady yourself the white trim catches your eye and your hand goes to it and it's it's all to do with safety basically but I really did like the look I like the look of that so that's what I tried to recreate but once I put the trim on I thought hang about I actually like the wood <laughs> so I was on this knife edge of indecision I couldn't decide should I just paint it or varnish it so like I said I put it to the public vote and the votes are all in they've all been counted and verified and the voting is now closed okay so you can't vote anymore now i'm really grateful to everyone that did um participate in this little survey um and especially those of you that are rather creative as well <laughs> some of you come up with some rather creative suggestions um including paint it pink <laughs> well, that's not going to happen i'm afraid I do apologize but it's not going to become pink but in honour of those people that suggested paint your pink, I put a pink notebook just to satisfy your desire for a little bit of pinkness. <laughs> okay, so you'll be seeing a lot more of this little pink book. Um, yeah, I realised I needed a notebook. I thought I really to make notes and stuff. So yeah, I thought I'll buy a pink book just for those, just for those few people out there. Right now, um, the people that voted for it to be painted white, quite surprisingly, not that many. But even more surprising was the amount of people that suggested I paint it black. And the people that suggested I paint it black outnumber those that suggested white, which is quite unusual, considering I didn't even ask about painting it black. I didn't even, didn't even consider it. But I think I've given it some thought, and I thought, oh, I'm going to stick to the public vote, right? So I don't think I need to say anymore. It actually, the vote has gone to varnish. Uh, a massive majority voted to paint your varnish 46 people in fact voted to paint to varnish it um 10 people voted to paint it white and 12 people said paint it black surprisingly enough so it's going to be varnished i'm afraid decision has been made <laughs> oh sorry about that right now what have i been doing today i know you are you don't know what i've been doing today i'll put a little light up there at the back with a switch, it's got its own little independent switch with a uh, USB charger right next to it. So when I'm laying in bed, I've got a little bit of light and I can charge my phone um, and my iPad if I want to, you know, look at my iPad while I'm laying in bed. I'll show you the sort of light it is. It's way back there. I'm not going to climb over the bed. It's the same as this one up here that I'm using. I'll just switch it off. Nice little light. And that's right above my bed. And the reason I've done that, another reason, other than like, so I've got a light when I'm laying in bed, all my light switches are down this end of the van. I'll just pick you up again and spin you around. Down here. So they're all down that end of the van. So when I turn the lights off, it's completely pitch black in here. I'll have to climb into bed in the dark. So that little light at the back there, that's going to save me doing that. I can switch that light on and then turn the main lights off. Get into bed and then switch it off. Also, if there's a disturbance in the, in, the, in the night time, like in the dead of night, if there's some sort of ruckus going on outside, I can switch that light and I can just reach up, feel for it, switch it on. And I think the charge socket as well has got a little glow about it, so it'll give me a little bit of a night light, you know, because I'm, I'm a big scaredy cat, really. <laughs> I don't like the dark. <laughs> so that'll give me a little nice glow. Uh, well, also, I've fitted my gas detector. Well, I've wired it up. It wasn't wired up properly before. Um, I decided that my gas detector needs a switch because there's no so you can't switch these off. They're, they're permanently wired live um, to power source 12 volts, but there's no switch. You can't switch them off. 
but I want to be able to switch this off if ever I go away on holiday like if ever I leave the van for any period of time I want to be able to switch absolutely everything off and um, it's got solar it will have solar panels on the roof uh, so if I do leave it I can unplug the solar panel turn everything off inside that way when I come back from the jollies I know the van's going to be there it's going to be fine I've heard stories of camper vans being left for a long period of time with solar panels on the roof catching fire so yeah I don't want to risk that after all you know a lot of a lot of time and money's been invested in this van so yeah so that's what I've done today I've, I've put a switch for this now also incidentally this the switch that turns this on also switches on these this little light at the back on as well and I've done that to remind myself to switch this on so if this is switched off that light won't work because that light's fed from the same power source as the alarm it's just a little way of so that I can make sure that I don't forget to turn the alarm on um, I'll show you where the alarm is it's on the floor not on the floor it's down low by the floor because as we all know LPG um, like petroleum what's it called yeah LPG um, is uh, heavier than air so if your gas bottle leaks the air the gas is going to sink to the floor so that's why you put your alarm next to the floor that's basically it that's all I've had time to do today so uh, yeah that's just a quick update oh yeah and I managed to pick this up as well I was sitting there looking at me um, a toast proof smoke detector well, I've never seen these before and, it, and when I saw this I thought oh that might be useful because you're in such a confined space if you do cook do toast the alarm, the smoke alarm goes off every time or even just cooking like if you fry an egg you set your smoke alarm off because it's a small confined space so I thought oh I'll try that out so once this is fitted and I do start cooking I'll do a little bit of a review on that to let you know if it works it's manufactured by a company called Fire Angel. That name sounds familiar. I've heard that name somewhere before. All right, Angie, if you're watching. All right, so, uh, yeah, and now when I fit them, my smoke alarm, just a little tip for you. When you fit your smoke alarm, put it in some, somewhere like near the door, so it's near above your sliding door, say, so that if it does go off while you're cooking, you can simply open your sliding door let all your fresh air come in and it'll stop it going off also right next to smoke alarm try and put your fire extinguisher within eyes view of your smoke alarm so if it, if ever it does go off in a in a real situation in an emergency because if you wake up and there's like smoke filled van um, the smoke alarm's going off as a little light on it flashing your attention is immediately drawn to the smoke alarm that's the first thing you look at because that's where the sound is coming from so put your fire extinguisher right next to your smoke alarm and in that way your eyes will go smoke alarm fire extinguisher you know exactly where it is you grab your fire extinguisher and hopefully take care of the situation so that's what I like to do that's why I always put my um, fire extinguisher right next to the smoke alarm I think I mentioned this in another video but it was like 30 videos back so I just wanted to re mention that yeah so this will be going above the door somewhere or near the door also another reason I put it by the door is so that because your attention is drawn to that part of the van your doors there you can open it it's like you've got to, have to react really quickly in that sort of situation you, you, you can't think too much but if your smoke alarm is right where you need to to go then you're already facing in that direction you're facing in the direction of your door you're facing in the direction of your fire extinguisher mm. it's just um yeah i can't overstress that enough because i do like to try and be safe and there's a story behind that and i'll tell you this is the truth when i was a little baby when i was a wee lad my sister <laughs> set light to my cot and i can remember it i can actually remember the sticker of winnie the pooh bubbling up because the flames are coming up the side of the cot and i've probably was only about one years old but i've still got that image of winnie the pooh bubbling away and that's the truth <laughs> that's my, my first childhood memory is my uh my cot <laughs> being on fire thanks to my sister <laughs> yeah. i don't think she ate deliberately no malice meant i don't think anyway 
Yeah, my big sister tried to burn me alive. That's truth. Yeah, so yeah, I've got a thing about fire. <laughs> Funny enough. Anyway, that's enough for me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss a thing. But most importantly, feel free to leave a comment below, chat among yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care for now. Ta-da, and thanks for watching.